my name's Equagan. You call me EK. I know the, I know this camera's at a different angle. It just happened that my camera lighting was terrible, so I had to move it somewhere. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Forensic Nightmare and what I like on the Forensic light Nightmare. So there's a bunch of different options. Gunsmith is currently down. Let's just get straight to the point here. I like having Perpetual and Kill Clip on it. And the reason why I do like this SMG a bit more is because the Psycho Hack perk, which allows me for sustained damage from this weapon, lowers the damage output for a short duration or other things. So in the future, I do hope that Bungie, when that dungeon comes out this season, I hope that is in the throne world because I kind of want this trait to be on more weapons than what we have right now. Um, but generally... I have on Fluted Barrel, I have on Flare Magwall, Perpetual Motion, and Kill Clip. I don't even think I have the enhanced versions on. I think these are just uh, the generic versions of them. Oh, okay. You can tell whether it's, uh, it's enhanced or not. But currently what I have on here is the normal Perpetual, the normal Kill Clip. I've been using it a little bit more in Endgame. I've been trying it out, and I've been liking it. So if you're out there... You have this SMG, you don't know what to put on it. I do believe that this last slot also have has Headstone. I tried Headstone a few times. I wasn't a huge fan, but if you're out there, you love Headstone, cool. Um, if you're going to ask what the shade on this weapon is, I'm using Divinity's Karis on this weapon currently. It looks pretty nice. Um, I love throwing on Minor Spec, and I am going to be using that in this, you know, law sector to kind of like show the feel of it. The gun does feel a little bit wonky, which is why I went with Flare Magwell instead of like using High Cal. Get a little bit more stability and also you do get that extra reload. If you end up slapping on like uh, an SMG reloader, the reload for this is pretty nice. But I'm going to move around a bit just now just so I can get like perpetual motion going. And as you can see, as long as I'm moving, this gun feels really crispy. Having, being able to have the kill clip up Especially when you have Perpetual Motion 2 up, it's pretty nice. Now, what you can do if you have some kind of stasis setup where you have anything around crystals, then sure, Headstone could be something that you can use. But I don't think as like this SMG is going to be the best thing to have Headstone on, and that is just my opinion. But when it comes down to it, I use it uh, in Val the Disciples. I use it on a few different like overload champions because we're stuck with SMG and we're stuck with uh, AR for overload this season. And this weapon actually has felt a lot better after upgrading it. Now, do I want the enhanced versions of Perpetual or Kill Clip? I don't think you need it, but if you want that extra little time to kind of have these perks up, sure, you can go for it. But I think this is one of those weapons that perform pretty well even without having um, enhanced perks on them. All right, the reload is pretty, it's pretty decent too, especially if you have perpetual motion times two up. All right, that's about it. I try to make this video short as possible. I will have another one up on uh, the rest of the throne wall weapons. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I want to say thank you to everyone that has joined up on this journey. We have hit 26,000 subs on the YouTube. Next month, I will be doing a few different giveaways for Corsair and uh, Elgato products. But yeah, that's it. If you guys like what you see, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to turn the notifications on to all if you like to see the, the videos as soon as they come up. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces. Oh, wait. I, the camera's over here. Deuces. Deuces.